Hi there, class. Uh, I thought I'd make a video or two about uh, how to set up a, a basic building model uh, in Revit. Um, and uh, one, uh, this first one will be about how to just basically make a simple rectilinear type of building uh, quickly and easily in Revit, since you'll all be putting together your existing conditions models. Um, and remembering that these models are, are meant to be for uh, the interior shell only. So something like this, the Wainwright building uh, in St. Louis is a lovely building, with lots of curly cues and terracotta panels. Um, we don't need to worry about that. If you're, if you're doing anything to the outside of the building, you're, you're probably going to be doing something like signage. So Photoshop will be all you really need. Um, so to make the interior model, uh, we're going to assume that there aren't any historic finishes. Um, there are really some pretty quick and easy techniques. Uh, let's head to good old Revit. And uh, you can, basically, if you know the, the shape uh, dimensionally of the building, you can, you can make that shape using an in-place mass. And uh, I'll just mass. I actually don't know the exact dimension of the Wainwright building off the top of my head, but... Um, uh, we'll take a, a little guess there, and we'll make a mass, you know, a solid form out of the building. You know, and again, guessing about the, the height of the building. Um, and uh, this mass, what you can do, if you have elevations in your building uh, that you've created for different um, levels, you can use these levels to create uh, floors and other good things in your building. Uh, so let me go back to the mass. If I click on the mass, first of all, you have to tell Revit that you'd like this mass to have floors in it. You just select the mass and click on the mass floors button. And you can then click on the levels that you want to have a floor in them. And I'll just click OK. And what it's done is it's created these individual kind of massed faces on each floor. Now those massed faces can be turned into floors. If you go to the massing and site ribbon, um, there are a number of options. One of them is mass, uh, creating floors by face in a mass face. So I'm just going to click on these different masses here. You see how they're highlighted as you mouse over them. And then you can just click the create floor button. Make sure you choose a floor that makes sense for your project, you know, whatever it might be. Um, I think we'll just go with generic for now. Click the create floor button and what you'll see is that there's now a floor where those masses are the funny uh, coloration is uh, what's called Z fighting we've saw that in our advanced media class on occasion um, that goes away if you delete or hide the model see how there's no Z fighting anyway uh, what about floors and uh, walls and roofs well you can do the same thing I'll just click the uh, roof by face button and uh, this is actually a neat feature um, for uh, generating uh, fairly interesting organic types of projects. Um, but in our case, we just want to create a simple roof. And again, you've, you've selected the face and it's highlighted. You just have to click the Create Roof button. And there you go, instant roof. Uh, and the same is true for walls. You just go to the wall button. Uh, I'm going to shade this so you can see it um, as I create them. I'll choose a... a generic brick wall. Again, uh, the faces get highlighted. Do be aware that any model that you create um, can have these uh, walls. Uh, you can actually put a wall on the roof, so make sure you know what you're doing. And again, like with the roofs, you'll see some Z fighting. You can hide or even just delete the model. Uh, the mass, I mean, and once that's uh, created, this is a model that can be modified in any number of ways. Uh, for example, it, it doesn't look so sporty right now with the uh, mast floor uh, running right up to the outside. Uh, you can edit that boundary and, you know, nudge it in or out or whatever you got to do to make it look a little nicer. Okay, uh, so that's your basic shell of the building. I'll leave the other sides open for now. There we go. No one will ever know. Uh, then, uh, other, one other tip is uh, when you're inserting things like uh, windows, um, by all means, uh, you know, use a component, of course, and try to get one that's as close to whatever the existing building condition is. Uh, 
obviously most of the time uh, windows are going to be in some kind of um, you know array uh, so make sure that you choose an array dimension um, and spacing that makes sense for the building there we go beautiful um, and uh, don't bother you know, inserting them individually and trying to align them with some kind of structural grid. You can select those uh, windows and uh, choose copy. I think I have to do control C for copy. Now one trick is in theory you could paste them in floor by floor. Um, however, there is, um, uh, once you've uh, copied them, control C, if I go to the modify tab, uh, normally you can just paste but there is this paste aligned to selected levels. Uh, and what this does is it just allows you to choose uh, which levels you want these windows to go in. And like magic, you've got a building with lots of windows in it. Um, so you can see that that's a very quick way to generate an existing building. Now, of course, you'll want to make sure to get the windows in the right position uh, when you um, insert them. Obviously, the inside and the outside are different. The sill location and slope are, of course, different. I think I've actually got these in here backwards. Um, anyway, uh, and that is your basic um, menu. If you have uh, other things such as complicated uh, structure, um, sloping roofs, dormers, um, then that's a whole other uh, matter. For that, um, you'll want to consult the second video. Uh, but that's how you create a simple building in 